Hey, this is Will, also known as Fly Fly Donkey. Don't ask me about it. It was spur of the moment name, but um, just an update on my tanks for anybody who actually cares to watch these videos. Um, hopefully, some people will. <laughs> um, just an update on it, though. This uh, this is my 20 gallon with the highlights and the dirt and all these plants in here are doing relatively good except for this plant whatever it is most of it is dying off and I only left like two plants two bunches of them in there because they used to be all around that piece of rock there but I'll probably just put some regular baby tears in there. Somebody told me to do that and I thought it would be a good idea so I'm going to try it. Um, I'm also going to get a nice piece of jungle valve for the the back corner there just to hide my whatever my heater. There we go. Um, as you can see this Rotala is exploding like it, it was like maybe that much shorter when I got it and now it's all the way up to there and it's only been about a week it's pretty awesome um this rosette Zor the rosette sword is already shooting off these little things at the top just being cool like that um it kind of detracts from the actual plant though because when it starts doing those, it focuses all its energy on those instead of growing upwards, and I want it to fill that part of the tank. And I might take it out and get some more Amazon swords, because, like, uh, I don't know. Um, the sword back here is getting much bigger. It has more leaves. It has a leaf every, like, four days, which is pretty good, so I guess it's growing right. And, um... There's all these fun little rosette swords that are just, they're not doing much, because they're just not doing much, but I'm hoping they'll fill in this hole, like fill in this, this chunk right there, and then I'll just have a little bed of rosette swords. i got a few more crypts. Um, I live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, so... Uh, there's an aquarium society here that's pretty awesome. <laughs> there's not a lot of planted people, mostly everybody's reef, but there's a few planted people, and there was one guy on there who, um, there's a bumblebee catfish in this tank. He's underneath that piece of wood, and you pro oh wait, you can see his tail. Yeah, that's his tail right there. There's a bumblebee catfish in there, and this guy messaged me on the aquarium forum saying, um, I have this, I have three bumblebee catfish, two of which are really darkly lit right there. Uh, let me turn off the light. Let me look out. Okay. Two of which are right there. He had three of them, and they were really small. They're only about, like, that big. And so... I have two of those in there. I'm going to give one to a teacher of mine, hopefully. So, yeah, that's my very messy dresser. But um, he messaged me and he said, hey, would you want these um, <coughs> uh, catfish and a piece of Anubius on driftwood? And I was like, okay, sure. Um, and so I went to get it. I had the got the three catfish. He also gave me a few bunches of crypts there. And he gave me those crypts there, which I wasn't expecting. And he gave me this giant piece of Anubius underfoot. It's just huge. And I was like, whoa, that's that was gonna be like one of those tiny ones on pet smart. But no, it wasn't. And uh oh. Yeah, I haven't shown this tank. This tank is just kind of a quarantine slash breeding slash grower slash holding slash whatever tank. I put it up so I could hold these little guppies when I got them because I didn't have a tank to put them in because I can't put them in here with the catfish because he eat them because he's already eaten one of my black phantoms. That's in a different video. But I just keep 
plants in here that I want to, either I don't have a place for them, or I just want them to grow a little more so they're longer. Um, in here, I have, I think the last count was like, um, 13 Andalur guppies. Um, two of them are babies. We'll see if I can catch them. But um, I also have a large amount of shrimp in here. If I can find, there's a shrimp. They're red cherry shrimp. Some of them are red, like that guy right there. He's a cool bluish red color, and his tail looks just awesome. I'll see if I can snap a fix from there. But um, yeah, that's basically what the this tank is for. It, it stays surprisingly clean, even though I don't have a filter on it or anything. It just kind of... I, I think it's because of the shrimp, though, and the fish swim around and suck up all the extra food, and yeah. I can't wait to use this Anubius, so this is an insane piece of Anubius. Uh, I'm kind of lenient to try and break it apart, because I feel like I really screwed up, and that was a really good piece, and... Uh, these scripts, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might give them away, I might trade them, because, um, like, this big, the Rotala Indica, I think it is, Rotala Indica, and this Rotala Rotundifolia, and this Kambamba, whatever, how you say that, and Wisteria, and all that jazz, that all came from some guy off the Sioux Falls area aquarium society who just had trimmings in his tank that he didn't want any 